Okay, so now that we have uh, our basic setup here, um, I'm going to save this again. Files uh, as movers 02. So now that we have our basic setup here, let's let's get started. Uh, we were going to make a random. Uh, we're going to place uh, the the movers randomly around here, and we want to control how many movers we have. So let's make a num of movers first num of movers and we're going to just have two here we're going to give it a type hint of integer okay so we're not going to change uh, any of this code in here um, I'm going to test I'm going to start this and see Okay, it looks like it's working okay. Uh, so we're not going to change any of uh, the... We're going to leave mover exactly how it is. And so... Uh, so we don't need to worry about that at all. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to make a list and we're going to have it... We're going to make a list of movers. So let's do like we we have been doing, where we make an empty list. We're going to go m list for mover list equals blank list, and we're going to go for uh, i in range num of movers. And uh, so what we're going to do is for each time we go through this uh, this for loop we're going to create a mover we're going to create a mover and we're going to uh, append that mover into our mover list so that goes like that I'm gonna delete all this Okay, and so uh, what we want to do here is uh, we don't want the movers in the same spot and starting at the same thing. Uh, for acceleration, it doesn't really matter what we do for acceleration because we have it uh, we have it set up to the target, so it's going to move towards our target. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that. Our velocity, we don't need to worry about uh, our position though we want to do vector method uh, vector random and we want to pass in our random that we seeded up here so here we've already seeded this so we're going to pass that in and then if we look down here at our help it returns a vector pointing to a random direction with a magnitude of length we're going to for our length we're going to do random uniform uh, between 0 and 100. Uh, so, you know, uh, our space is about 100, so it's going to uh, give us a, a random vector, in a, or give us a vector in a random direction and with length random between 0 and 100. So, there's that. And so now we have, so, uh, here's uh, I've got a list of movers. Okay, and so uh, we don't want to, we're not going to worry about velocity for this one. Uh, it's going to be easier to think about if we just drop that out of the picture for now. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, and now this isn't going to do anything right now because uh, we need to get access to our mover in our list instead of uh, this right here. So to get access to uh, to our mover, we're going to move through. We're going to do a for loop through the mover. So and I'm going to show you uh, a new way to do a for loop for. Enumerate 
And so what this does is uh, our i is our index and our m is our object in our list. So it's our mover. So now, uh, so, so now we can do m list uh, is uh, at index i. So these are the same thing. M list at i and m are the same thing. Uh, look up enumerate uh, on the, the Python site and it'll explain it better. But, so, but basically all you need to know is this is our index and this is our item. So index and our item. Uh, sometimes I use this and sometimes I use that um, for some things. Uh, this doesn't work, and then this does work. And uh, when we get to that I issue, I'll point it out. Uh, so we can use this for this situation, and we're going to do the same thing that we did for our single mover. We're going to update it. We're going to check the edges. Uh, and then we're going to uh, add a point. Um, and actually, uh, I'm going to hash this out, and I'm going to append m dot position. I'm going to see if this works. If it doesn't, I'll go back in here and add a point. Uh, and this, we don't want a position list. Actually, we do. Okay. So let's uh, label this. Uh, 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 goes through M list, our mover list. Goes through mover list. Okay, and we don't want a position list here. We want a time list. Okay, and so uh, let's think about it in the same way that I did above here where we have an empty list, we append things into that list, and then we do something with that list. So here we have our mover list. Uh, what we want is we want a position for each one, each mover. So it goes through our mover list, and uh, we want a position for each one of our movers. So we want position list. We're going to have it blank. We're going to fill that position list for the position of the movers in this moment in time. And so. Uh, so we have a list, we have a position list. And what we want to do is uh, append that position list into the time list. And this is a little bit confusing, but stick, stick with me and it, it works. So position list. Uh, OK, so I'm going to stop the video there so the videos don't get too long and then come back right where we left off.